It's a self-contained little lamp, obviously rechargeable, and as with all Olight equipment, it is really well made. It's a nice, nifty little product, and it's got novelty uses as well as emergency uses, so it's quite a handy little thing to have around the house or in the car. A quick look at the packaging, and you can pause the video now if you want to read some more of the details there. Inside the box we've got the O-bulb, a magnetic base which has got a self-adhesive sticker on the back, charging cable which is magnetic, and a set of instructions. The O-bulb comes in three different colours, I've got hold of two of them. This is a wine red version, moss green, and it also comes in basalt grey. And just as I would expect from Olight, you get a matching magnetic base with whichever colour you buy. So I'm going to put this on charge now. Now this unit has got a magnetic base. The charging cable is a magnetic charging cable. So charging is a pure joy. Just watch this. So that's how easy it is to connect the cable. So if I hold that up to the camera, you can see that that LED has now gone red, which means it's charging. When it's fully charged, it will turn green. And there we go. That's the oil bulb fully charged as the LEDs turned green. Now it says two hours from fully discharged to charged under normal conditions. This O light has got four operational modes. The first one is a dim white light which is 3.5 lumens and it will operate in this mode on a full battery for 56 hours. The second one is a bright light which is 55 lumens and it will operate in this mode on a full battery for three hours. The third one is a steady red light which is 7 lumens and it will operate in this mode for seven hours. And the fourth mode is a flashing red light, which is seven lumens, and it will operate in this mode on a full battery for 30 hours. So to turn the unit on, you just press it quickly, and it will always start in the last mode it was in when it was turned off. So obviously it's a red flashing light. To change the mode, you just hold it down for a second or two. The mode changes. To change again, hold it down for a second or two. The mode changes. And again, hold it down for a second or two. The mode changes to turn it off. It's just a quick press. And then if I turn it back on again, it will start in the mode it was in before I turned it off. So it's very simple to operate. This oil bulb has been drop tested to 1.5 meters. So it's quite safe for it to fall 1.5 meters. These things are tested over and over again at the factory. It's IP7 rated which means it can be submerged up to one meter for 30 minutes. It is waterproof, it will float. So this being magnetic means that if you've got a metal surface, you can literally just place it down anywhere and then it's ready to use. And you do not have to lift the light up to turn it on if you just press it. Now remember it comes with a little magnetic disc, that means that you can stick it on a tile or anywhere else you want around the house. So it's not just a decorative light, it's also got uses in emergency situations as well. And don't forget, because it's magnetic, you could stick that on your car bonnet or on the roof if you have an accident or something like that. It might just help you out in a tricky situation. Now it's not coming across as red on the camera, but it is actually a red light. There's no white in there at all, it is pure red. And I think if you have an accident, you'll be glad to have this in the back of the car if you're in the middle of nowhere. Might stop somebody running into the back of you or it might just like attract someone's attention in case you need assistance. In the low white light setting, it provides just the right amount of light for a night light. And at 56 hours operation on a full battery, you can get four or five nights out before having to recharge it. It's perfect for if you've got children that don't sleep unless there's any light on. And the bright setting is a nice, comfortable light. It's quite a nice ambience. It's actually kind of brighter than a candle, but would be perfect instead of candles if you didn't want to have a naked flame in the house. Using something like this as a little candle for a romantic dinner would be absolutely perfect. So I think it is a lovely little product. So I think I'm going to leave one of mine here next to my go-to torch. And it just means that we've got something that's just ready to use if we have a power cut. I think that all lights are onto a winner with this. I think it's a smashing little product. I'm really glad that they sent it for me to review. And it's certainly going to prove useful in my household. I hope you found this little review useful. Thank you for watching and take care.